um, so vanakkam and namaste to all the leaders policy makers my uhv family members co explorers faculty colleagues from various universities so before i present the uh, uhv activities which is happening in srm i would we have already seen the extensive activity which has happened in the uh, aktu i would like to say few words about my own uhv journey and exploration the first thing is i was so confused about what i want uh, what i want in my life i was not clear when what i want is not clear to me how do i fulfill it so i have so many questions in my life what is my purpose of living why i am living recording in progress and what i am doing here so such a kind of questions about my existential why i am born what the, what are the activities i am doing here such a kind of existential question i do have so i tried many ways i put more efforts like uh, getting degrees next slide please getting degrees getting post docs from uh, universities and um, getting six digit salary traveling around the world uh, traveling different kind of foods having different um, a kind of dressing accumulation of more physical facilities so i thought with all these efforts i could able to find what i want thanks i could able to find what i want so but even after getting everything i couldn't able to find what i want so through this uhv proposal through this uhv proposal i got to see the first thing is the basic aspiration of any human being including me it is to be happy and that too in a continuous manner so all the efforts which i made till date is just to keep myself happy so i was in the i was doing many things but i don't know what i really want so now i could see all the efforts i made till date is just to keep myself happy and till date to keep myself happy i was just listening to others my papa said mama said go to degree go get degree you will be happy go get marry you will be happy i tried everything so i was just hunting so this time after this uhv proposal first time i learned to explore myself even after listening let me explore let me try to understand what is this so i was uh, after going through this uhv proposal for past two years i could able to see whatever i get through the external it's just a momentary and just it's momentary for an ex it's a kind of excitement and now i just started developing the right understanding to see within myself and it is helping me a lot to understand first myself what i am like self in the body that interconnectedness and how to be with a human to human at least now after 33 years i feel happy that i am learning all these things how to build the relationship how to have a human human interaction how to have a interconnection with the human nature so these things helped me a lot and uh, some propo many proposals i have verified myself just to point out only one at this point usually i scold my mom often because when she serves me a food she used to spill a lot and whenever she bring from the kitchen to the table she used to spill a lot so i used to scold her now i was just passing for a moment and checking she is the one who is making so much effort in the kitchen to prepare that curry for 2 to 3 hours is she intend to spill it is her competency problem so nowadays i could able to see the intention of the people rather than um uh, rather than directly blaming or complaining so that is one change which i could see myself so there are a lot of examples but due to the time time constraint i just keeping it limited and uh, when uh, after uh, after going through this uhv process i attended uhv 1 and 2 offline and then uh, i went and told to uh, went and said to my uh, dean sir and uh, higher ups stating that i attended this kind of program i attended in the august 22 and i went and told immediately uh, this is such a program i attended and it is really helping to see some transformation in life why can't we implement in our college the very next week they appointed me as a university coordinator for that and they gave the responsibility okay you take it if you feel it is good not give a transformation and um, after that um first here i got to uh, get to see some questions how long i can i need to put an effort for this i could see like i want to be happy every moment i want to be happy every moment so i need to put effort for every moment to be happy 
so that is what i did so i personally put so much effort for my personal development and i started working for the team development so i myself made an effort to attend a morning session attended many workshop back to back back to back to understand what it is so attending the morning sessions for uh, from since 9 uh, may uh, november 2022 i attended this four month morning session it's was that time it's a sixth batch currently i am doing the ninth batch so it's a every day morning 5:30 to 6:30 the program is there and i started volunteering for the uh, regional level and as well as for the uh, national level and uh, with the tamil translation team face to face development team like that we have we have started volunteering to understand these things better and now i am a part of this sr core team so when we say the need of value education from the morning we were discussing many things the first thing we could see is clarity on what to do because we don't know what to do in a life how to do we are learning through many things how to become a computer science engineer how to become how to make a car all these things we are learning but what to do with this is a very big question mark we have in front of us so that clarity is required and in our university and i think most of the universities now we have lot of concern on the student we could see lot of disciplinary actions are getting increased and uh, the counseling i am heading a counseling cell as well so i could see many students stepping in even faculties many times stepping in to say that i am so stressed supraja so that kind of cases are getting increased and uh, we are so much we are taking so much pressure on the mental health so there is a need of such a kind of value education um is our is the question is there is our present education is resolving such a kind of problems with the curriculum of the present education have we focused on how to be happy ourselves how to be in a relationship how to self regulate our own whole health we are now we can see that whole health has gone like at least from the childhood to when you compare we have lost our health so such a problems are there so current education we feel it is more focused on the placement more focused on skill based and we are preparing the students for just for the jobs not for the life so that is one thing so there is need to uh, develop a plan related to the education focused towards developing this right understanding relationship as well as the skill for the physical facility how much is required so focus towards a solution rather than a problem now at present we are trying to treat for the disease rather than trying to improve the health of the people so we understand there is a need of this value education and now we wanted to try it whether this is going to work in our college so srm we try to implement so we are uh, right from 1985 the established this is the college with a strength of around 52000 students with 370 uh, 303076 uh, faculties with nine colleges uh, with uh, 111 plus departments and uh, first we constitute the value education cell so the discussion was made with the policies uh, and decision makers we include a uh, members from all the discipline like college of engineering and technology dean medical science and humanity and we have want to formalize this university wide uh, thing so we made a uhv cell with the constitution of members from the higher ups to the all levels so now we started with the stages what we need to do so first is we found we need to prepare a faculty members so faculty members to be prepared initially when we uh, registrars are used to send uh, these are the uh, mails from the aict please go attend people usually like 10 out of one mail it's another workshop so what we did is after our, our personal transformation we three to four of us went to each and every department we spoke with the faculty we gave the awareness of one hour session two hour session according to the uh, size of the department we conducted many awareness program and um, we asked them to give a try by attending this programs sometimes we made it by force because after uh, after people went by force they said now they saw the purpose even after they attended by force now they able to see the purpose so it is initial state and uh, we in house we have conducted two uhv introductory workshops and two uh, uhv two workshops and one management development program for deans directors and head of the department so through these workshop people have gone through this experimental validation by themselves and they themselves the teachers themselves found it is very very useful and they motivated their department faculties to attend such a kind of programs 
and we don't have any targets these many faculties to complete now every faculty rushing up and asking me when is the next program so uh, every month we are hosting one such programs in our university now so around uh, we have trained around 1000 faculties in the past one and a half years it is by volunteering they volunteer themselves initial state first we said you can give a try but later they are started volunteering by themselves to attend and regular weekly meetings to be in touch with the content we are having the regular weekly meeting today it was 26th weekly meeting happened in our college so like that team coordination meeting and the volunteering meeting happening and at present from SRM 20 people are attending this morning sessions which is happening in them and um, uh, preparing the faculties for the higher modules we are planning to prepare the faculty in all eight modules. so this month 23rd we do have the holistic human health uh, FDP which is going to be conducted by Sharmila Astana who is the wife of Rajula uh, who is the uh, she's the wife of Rajula Astana ji here and in future next semester we are planning to bring human uh, economics uh, FDP and we are planning to strengthen our counseling cell pro I mean counseling cell is there for every department we are planning to strengthen this counseling cell with the content based on UHB for that faculty members we are going to conduct a refresher course so now uh, this uh, through this uh, faculty preparation now we have enough faculty through this we wanted to take it to the students so initially there were so much of questions can the values be thought but with this uh, faculty could able to understand something we thought we can take it to the students as well so from 2022 onwards the same year which I joined as a university coordinator we have implemented SIP and initially we started just with the two session in the induction program but the immediate semester we conducted 15 session program for the students so this year also we had a proper SIP session with the UHV module and uh, we have implemented UHV three cred uh, two credit uh, UHV 2 as a three credit mandatory course for the, all the second year students so now second batch is going on and currently we are uh, working to implement this minor degree program so that is why we are training the faculties with the other modules as well so uh, with this much of preparation to take it to the students we could see students is also welcoming such a kind of courses and there is a good number of uh, feedbacks from the students such a courses really useful for them to see understand themselves as well as to be in a uh, relationship as well as it is they are telling both the faculties and students are telling it is useful for their own life so these are some of the campuses we do have five campuses and every campus as we have implemented SIP UHV1 and UHV2 as a mandatory course and science and humanity we have implemented uh, UHV2 uh, as a two credit course and SIP is also happening now in the medical unit we have started giving this uh, UHV uh, one as a 15 hour sessions uh, for the first year students we already given this semester we have given it for the second year students also in future we will be extending to the third year and final year students to be, we'll be covering the entire medical fraternity and um, so to extend this university wide support administrators has to understand the process and understand the content and the essence of UHV so that is why we conducted this UHV MDP for all deans and directors initially it was a very big challenge for us to bring all the deans and directors to attend this program for three days so when I went and asked everyone personally we approached and asked you can be a uh, you can attend give a try and see what we are doing in this UHV they had so much hesitation what do you think I have been experienced for 70 60 70 years of uh, my life do you think I don't have values I know everything such a kind of questions was there but we were uh, asking yes sir we know you all have the values but are you happy all the time we want you to be happy all the time so why can't you give a try and we gave our offer you just try for one day if you feel bored you just leave but it's like everybody sat for all three days and uh, they in spite of all their position we found there is a uh, self longing to understand what is life so it was quite an impactful uh, Kumar Shambhabaya and Rajula Astana ji was conducting that program after that the head of the departments went to their department and they asked uh, their own faculties even I thought it is like something I know but you all go see what it is so such a kind of thing happened and we want to expand it to all the campus so we made discipline coordinators department coordinators campus wise coordinator core team member and some of us has been working in a national team as well so we uh, we want to make an effort to familiarize this UHV content not only inside the college but throughout 
we want to reach out to everyone. So we have uh, made a resource center. Uh, as an offline resource center, we have library of lifts of books and online materials in the VE cell. And we, we conducted some impact analysis feedbacks from the students. So those things have been shared. And also we do have a website where all the resource materials right from the website where we would need to register to where you to verify the certificate, everything is available in the website. And recently, uh, we have published the newsletter for the biannual newsletter. The first issue was being published in the first of uh, January 2024. Oh, sorry. I just... So the impact that I could see is the students could able to see the basic aspiration and clarity on the purpose of the life. What is their life? And the commitment towards and they started giving an attention uh, to the relationship more and there is a reduction in the stress level, depression and they, they, we could see some uh, responsible behavior from the students that they are helping each other and uh, some best practices like they are becoming environmentally responsible nowadays, plastic free. They are taking a small steps and this is one of the uh, testimonial which I like to share. This happened in my own UHP2 class when we do have in the end of the semester the sharing from the student. One of the students uh, came and did the sharing and he told um, uh, recently there was a list. He was removed from the enrollment stating that his TC was not submitted. So he was searching for the TC and he told his faculty advisor and the administrators, I already submitted the TC. You have removed me from the uh, list. But the people were again and again telling, you, no, you didn't submit. So this fellow was trying to get the TC, but it will take around 15 days time. He went to his school. Uh, in the Andhra Pradesh, he took travel and he went to school. He said, you need to file a complaint in a police case. He tried it, but it took a lot of time for him to get another uh, original TC. So after 15 days, he came with the original TC. And when he about to submit, his faculty advisor called him and said, hey, the TC I found it is in my draw. After first year, his enrollment was being cancelled. So he was not there in the college for 15 days. The attendance was cancelled. Now he said, Ma'am, if it is before UHV class, I would have taken uh, a stupid decision. Even I would have uh, been scolding my faculty advisor. But now I understand my faculty advisor, his intention is not to keep my TC inside and uh, put me in a pressure. It is a mistake. So I could understand, ma'am. It's fine. But later, what happened? He went to detention only. But this faculty advisor, uh, he, he told his faculty advisor, sir, it's fine. It happened, it's happened. Let us resolve it. And he went back to class. His faculty advisor, after seeing the detention list, that the student is there in the detention list, he went to dean and uh, made a personal apology letter. He said, whatever the punishment you want to give, even some LOPs, it's completely fine for me. There is no problem with the kid. It is my fault. So he removed that student from the detention. So this kind of relationship started happening between the teacher and the student. They started understanding each other. So uh, some of the testimonials we are uh, heard from our higher ups during this MDP. Our international director, IR, he is one who hesitated to come initially. But later attending, he said, usually he wants to be very punctual. If driver is not coming on time, he used to get angry. But similar thing happened after MDP. His driver called, I couldn't able to come on time. Can you be uh, wait for another 20 minutes? Uh, sir, sir told, it seems, sir, sir, sir told him, it's, it's not a hurry. You come back. I will take my car to the college. You directly come to my college. Uh, he drive to the uh, car to the college and uh, driver came. He asked what happened. He said, I, my daughter is not feeling well. She has a very high fever. I took her to the hospital, but doctor appointment was not available. I was waiting. I thought to come, but I couldn't. So now he realized that every person has some reason. It is not an intention. There is some situation over there which I am not understanding till date. So such a kind of realization that they could see themselves. So our deans are also told that understood how accumulation of physical facilities impacting my society. He used to say if my granddaughter asks one toy, I will buy her 10 toys. So he said I am also accumulating a lot of things, so I should think about it. And uh, one of our head of the department told, after this program, I myself may compost and I don't react to the colleagues immediately. I started discussing with them. And now I could see many of my colleagues stating that, ma'am, you're understanding a difficult situation. Thanks for that. And now the productivity of the department has been increased. So these are some of the testimonials which we received through our higher ups. 
and some of the impact studies we did out of 2,000 students who attended last year this UHV2 course as recommended uh, this course to their junior and they said it has been um, it has been highly recommended because this is the essential thing. So these are some of the uh, impact studies we did and the university-wide future plan. We, uh, we uh, last presentation you have seen about AKTU, but SRM, we are just in a scratch level of this value education. We want to develop our institution as a living model for this holistic value-based education. We currently implemented the value education, but in future we want to make every single course as a value-based education. And through this, we want to change every life as a value-based living. So these are the nine uh, steps we are, which we are working. So incorporating this UHV in uh, uh, vision and mission statements, and we already had some uh, statements ready, but we need to implement and strengthen young our UHV team with one uh, dedicated team with the directors and uh, dedicated staff members, and we do plan for an LDP. Uh, with chancellor, pro-chancellor and vice-chancellors and develop the evaluation process based on the competency and faculty advisor, every faculty advisor is one who have a direct connect with the students so every faculty advisor should go through the process and to mentor the entire four, se four years of their course and we want uh, April uh, 17 to, uh, sorry, April 17 to 19, we have a regional conference for Tamil Nadu. If you, uh, we will officially send you the invitation, we will have the conference. And networking with the other institution as a best practices, we can collectively promote the value. There is a no competition. Everybody is working to develop uh, uh, human contact. So we can be an inspiration and assist the other colleges. And uh, in our region, we help to, uh, we are ready to help the, all the colleges to coming up with the value-based education. So taking this UHV content, not only to the faculty and the students, but also to our alumni, as well as uh, adopted village, old age home hospitals, uh, nearby um, uh, areas. So we were focusing the, in the whole level. And the centralized repos repository, as I showed earlier, we want to be a resource center where every UHV material will be available. So the potential we could see, our experience with all the most this one and a half years, we could see that this UHV in education has a good potential to address the not only the student problem, but problems of every human being. And we want to prepare not only the graduates who is just getting a jobs, but also preparing them for a life. And while we make a good progress, we feel that we can do more. Yeah, we are putting so much effort. And with more institution who is participating with this, we can help each other to realize the full potential. So SRM is committed to this VHV, uh, and we are working towards this holistic transformation. So gratitude to whole UHV family. And um, uh, first, gratitude to Anna University Vice Chancellor, sir, and other officials and coordinators who have taken uh, effort for this holistic development through, through your initiative. Uh, almost all the colleges in the Tamil Nadu will get benefited with this UHV content. And um, now we are expanding this uh, uh, SR region. As I mentioned earlier, we already have a core team. Uh, Maithili ma'am, Jodi Lakshmi ma'am, Kamla ma'am, uh, uh, Sridharshini ma'am, they all are a part of our core team. So if you want any guidance regarding the conduction of UHV in your colleges or you want to volunteer or you want to take up a course, kindly contact us. We are there to help you. So some of the photo galleries of uh, programs which we conducted uh, in our college. And this is the SIP schedule. This is a sadhana forest uh, visit where they are practicing a sustainable living and SIP conduction. So few of the programs and extension activities we have. And this is the resource center website. We have all the uh, place where you want to register to check your certificates and everything. So this is our uh, newsletter. So thank you. Thank you so much.